Hey guys, I know, new background, don't get used to it, this is for a course. Anyways, I was watching a tutorial video from Ben Marriott. He recreated the intro animation from The Last of Us and Adobe After Effects, and it looks really good. But now that I've seen that, I just can't resist it. I have to challenge myself and recreate this animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. This means I am limited, very limited, but that won't stop me. I am confident that I can create a good-looking title animation right inside Premiere. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> All right, let's start with finding a picture of some veins or something. This is mine. I'll leave a link below where you guys can download it. Now click the new icon button in Premiere and choose color matte. Set it to something dark blue, almost black. Then click OK. Now go to Window and open up Lumetri Color. Then at the bottom, expand Vignette and add a very subtle amount. Next, drag the veins image on top of the color matte and now we have this. That's a nice background. So now it's time to create this slimy fungus. Now Ben used a plugin and After Effects to make the veins move, which is truly amazing. Unfortunately, that's kind of impossible in Premiere. And I don't want to use third-party plugins for this challenge, but I do have something else. Drag another color mat on top of the video. In the effects library, find the fractal noise effect and drag it onto the color mat. Now you'll understand why we use that in a moment. In the effects controls, set the fractal type to strings. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and click the pen tool. Create a super small mask in the middle of the screen. Then go back back to the effects controls and set a keyframe. Move further in time and in the program monitor, make the mask bigger, but give it some random corners now. Feather the mask a bunch to make it smoother. The idea now is to use this fractal shape as a mask to reveal the veins. That can be done with the track matte key effect, which we can find in the effects library. Drag it onto the veins. In the effects controls, choose the video track where the color matte is located. Set the composite 2 to matte luma. This will make it look like this. Now go back to the fractal noise settings and play around with the brightness. Then expand the transform properties and play with the scale. That already looks super cool, but we still need to give it a color. So find the tint effects and put it onto the clip. Set the white to a grayish color. Now we want that color to change gradually. Not an easy task in Premiere, but I got a solution. However, first I'm gonna look for some music and sound effects. That's gonna make this animation so much better. And I actually found a great dark guitar guitar track on audio that would fit this animation perfectly. Oh, and they're also sponsoring this video, by the way. Now, whatever you need, you'll find it on audio. Let's say that you need an aggressive mood, then just click on aggressive and voila. Choke it up. Their filtering tools allows you to find the right song that you have in mind. I'm also looking for something slimy to go with the moving veins. Now I find this water sound effect and I think it's going to be really useful. Let me put the sounds aside and at the end of the video I'm gonna share a super secret trick to make that sound of the water more slimy. Now all the music and sound effects you can hear in this video are from audio and I don't need to worry about copyright problems or licensing stuff and all because that is taken care of. I also can't wait when their mobile app is going to launch because that would help me find the perfect music when shooting or on the go. What I love about audio is that it's one of the cheapest music libraries out there, but their music and sound effects quality is super high. All of these tracks are amazing and are coming from real artists. I can highly recommend to check it out as great music and sound effects will create better quality content. You can check out the different plans, there's even a lifetime option by clicking the first link in the description down below. And for a limited time, there are huge discounts, so you don't want to miss out on that. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, animating the colors of the veins to have those gradually change. Now to do that, hold down Alt and drag the two clips on top of the others. Then move them a few frames to the right to create an offset. Now of course, don't forget to adjust the mat to the correct video track. Then change the color of the tint effect to orange. Duplicate the clips again and set the color to something more red. I also added another one with a white layer just to give it more movement towards the end. With every duplicate, make sure to adjust the track mat and also offset the layers. Then when done, select everything, right click and choose nest. Call it veins for example and click OK. Fantastic! Next we're going to add a text overlay. You can find a PNG logo on the internet, but you can also use a custom text or whatever you like. Move it three tracks up by using Alt and arrow up on your keyboard. Then duplicate the veins nested sequence three times. You want to randomly rotate each vein to offset them a little bit so it takes up more space and really gets behind the text. Then select all those duplicates 
duplicates and nest them again, putting them in a group. I know, I know there's a lot of nesting going on in here today, but it is worth it. Find the track mat effect and drag it onto the nested sequence again. Then set the match to the track of the text logo. Now the letters are barely visible. We need to fix this, otherwise Ben is gonna be disappointed in me. Maybe I can duplicate the text logo and trim it a little bit shorter. In the effects library, find the cross dissolve transition and drag it onto the logo. Or you can use the shortcut Ctrl D, which is faster. Now select the logos with the nested sequence and nest it again. This is the last nesting, guys, I promise. Now maybe we can increase the exposure just a little bit to make the logo more visible. I also found a stock clip of ink splashes, which I'm gonna need. Drag it above the nested sequence and again go to the effects library and drag the track mat key onto the nested sequence. Then set the mat to the ink drop and the composite to mat luma. Also reverse the track mat key and that's going to beautifully reveal Reveal the text. All right, hang on guys, we're almost there. To make the text pop a little bit more from the background, find the VR chromatic aberrations effect. Drop it onto the clip and set the reds to 0.5 somewhere. Make sure the green and the blue are set to zero. We want this to be very, very subtle. Now there's still one thing missing though, Gaussian blur. And I promise no more nesting, so we're gonna do it a little bit different. Click the new item button and choose adjustment layer. Drag it on top of the video. Now when the effects library finds the Gaussian blur and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Then go to the effects controls, move to the first frame of the clip and increase the blurriness. Set a keyframe, move a little bit further in time and now set it to zero. Now remember when I downloaded the water sound effect and the dark music from audio? Well, the water doesn't really sound like slime just yet. To fix that, find the low pass filter in the effects browser and drag it onto the sound clip. Now the more you decrease this, the more high frequencies will be cut off. That's why it's called low pass. Now what you wanna do is animate the cutoff with the keyframes to make it go back and forward a little bit so that way the slime sound is more organic. And now let's put the dark guitar underneath the video and let's check out the end result. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Ben, I hope you're proud of me as well. But guys, as you saw, while making animations, your timeline can become a mess very quickly. Now to make sure everything stays clean and organized, check out the video here on my left in which I share an amazing workflow technique you probably haven't heard about before. Thank you for watching guys, and as always, stay creative.